Alright guys, welcome to another edition of Stocks Market Update. This, this In this video, I'm going to spend probably the next 5 minutes or so just going over some stocks that I'm looking at and my views and my opinion and hopefully you guys can pick up a few things on what I'm looking at as well too. So let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. Alrighty then. I'm having so much fun with these videos. Alright, so let's actually... Um, this is finished doing a silver chart. That's why SLV is up there. Let's bring up Apple, shall we? Do, do, do. W A P L Apple. So let's bring up Apple first. Oh, so Apple. This is a weekly chart with Apple, guys. Let me actually let me actually take that off the screen. Let me actually bring this one up here. Bam, like that, because this is a much. It's a candlestick chart, and it gives you much more quick. It gives you much more um, better view of what's actually going on here. So as you can see, guys, with Apple, Apple overall, guys, is still continuing to head down, and this is really important to understand. Let me actually bring up here. This is important to understand. You can see Apple is continued to head down. You can, you can see that you can see these these areas of resistance, major overall. Now remember, guys, this is a weekly chart, and plus you can also see this major low, major major lower trough, and now we form this lower peak as well too. And you can see this reversal bar, and we're starting to head down already. So, so me guys, looks like this area through here was indeed an area of resistance, and we're starting to head down. So it looks like we looks like we could get looks like to me it's just a start of more downside to come. Apple has been very 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 weak, and you guys that have been so bullish on this market, on this economy, Apple has been going down since June of last year. It's just been head down and heading down and heading down, head down. It went from highs one thirty five down to ninety. Ouch! I would hate I would hate that I would hate to have owned that. Now I've bought some put options in the past and. I've made some good money on that one just by following exactly what I just told you. So that's what we, that's what we see through there. Let's actually bring up uh, the daily chart. Daily chart, you can see what's going on through here. We're getting like a just a sort of like a small little sell off through there, and you can see that that's what's happening uh, right now. So uh, let's have a look. Let's have a quick look at uh, just Google. Uh, Google right now looks like it's building like a bit of a bear flag. We've got this big selling action sort of three white horsemen or what are you going to call that so i think that google to me looks like i just wants more downside one thing that i just wanted to share with you is amazon amazon to me guys is looking just absolutely crazy right now i am in amazon and in the last couple of weeks i have bought put options on amazon and i'm expecting amazon to fall through the floor Fall through the floor, floor, fall through the floor. <laughs> I'm losing it. Um, <laughs> oh. See, that's what the market does. You've been, you've been, been with the markets, just, you just lose it. Um, <laughs> but I'm having a lot of fun with it too. Ed. You've got to enjoy yourself. Anyway, so you can see Amazon, uh, what's happening through here. Let me actually bring up these trend lines. You can see that this is obviously the Amazon trend line. We're getting through there. I think this is going to be broken very, very soon. And I think we're likely to start heading down. That's just my guess, guys. And my guess is based on the way the market is acting right now. So um, uh, HD, Home Depot, was a, was a trade that I just recently got out of. You guys remember, if you guys have been following me for quite some time, you guys would have remembered that I was talking about this bear flag and I said, look at the breakout here. And I wrote it down. I got out through there. You can go check the videos. I did a video on this. And then the markets now continued rolling up. So it looks like the market may want to be, it's rejecting off this trend line already. So it looks like already, guys, looks like that we may want to just continue this downward move from here. So uh, definitely, definitely a nice little trade for me from there to there. So really, really nice trade. I was trading put options. Got out. Really nice profit. The market ran up. I'm not in it again right now. So I'm not, I'm not getting in because to me, that's to me that wasn't a setup this whole thing here was the setup rounding top bear flag so on and so forth lower trough lower peak breaking out good volume bearish down day all that sort of stuff everything was going for me all right so to me right now i don't just get in because i just want to get in um i get in with it when it's when it's really high probability so that's home depot 
uh, through there. Let's have a look at uh, a few other ones. Uh, GILD, I've been in this one for actually a couple of months. I've had put options in this one for a couple of months. So, um, and and I actually see this thing going down a lot lower. So to GILD, GILD for me guys is, is going a lot lower. The reason why I see that, the reason why I say that, guys, is if I bring up the weekly chart, you can see what's happening here. We're bouncing off here, bouncing off here. We're bouncing up the support level. And if we do break, we're likely to run down to 65 really, really quickly. To me, that's a 20% drop within a couple of weeks. So maybe that's going to happen next month. July, maybe that will. Um, if it does, I'm happy with that because I'm in put options. I've been put options now. You know, I, th I started getting into put options somewhere around about somewhere around about it was at these resistance levels i got into resistance i got into put options up here and uh, the market ran up and then came back down so as you can see from there to there i'm in some really really nice profits about about ten dollars plus down some from where i got into my put options so i've been i've been in it for quite some time guys but really really nice trade for me so far i'm making good money on that got some nice in the money options and uh that's just just doing really really well so i'm expecting more downside to come and and uh, no, no need for me to get out of that as yet. LVNTA is another one that I'm in right now too, guys. I'm still in LVNTA. Um, I'm, I am I look at this and I'm just like, you know what? This thing's just, um, just pretty crazy right now. Uh, if I look at the daily chart, this is the daily chart. We're still getting this. We're still getting, still getting this lower trough here. We've got this lower peak through here as well too. Uh, you're getting this strong move down, strong move up, strong move down. Uh, and I'll sort of move up through there. So I'm still in this as well too. I'm looking to add into this even more. And where am I looking to enter into that? Simples. Let me show you where I'm looking to enter on this. If we start to get a, if we see this level through there, bam, you can actually see if we start to get a close below, especially that level there, if we start to get a trigger below on a weekly chart, so let's go to this, this chart here. If we start to get a trigger below this level through here, because this was the low point through there, so if we start to get a trigger below this level here, then I'm happy to get into that. In fact, if I just, if we start to get a trigger below, now I'm gonna have a tight stop as well too, guys. If we start to get a trigger below, so if the market opens and starts to run down, say to, so a trigger below 36.50. So a trigger below, a trigger, the market dropping below 36.50, to me, says we're just likely to just fall through, fall through the floor. I'm, I already got put options. But I'm, but um, looks like to me I might be, I, I might be buying some more put options. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what type of put option I'm buying because I'm not here to give you advice on what options and stuff like that um, to buy and stuff like that. But uh, for me, um, I for me, if the market starts triggering below thirty six fifty, then I want to be short, and then I think we're likely to see some more more downward movement through there as well too. Um, uh, I, I just an, another one that another one that I want to let me actually bring this here. Um, let's see another one. Uh, A L L. Uh, A L L. No, it's not that. It says um, A A L. This one here, yeah. So this is a weekly chart. Once again, guys, I'm still really, really. I'm in this, and I've been in this for quite some time. Once again, guys, uh, looking at my, uh, looking at my options. Um, I got into. I got into here and then I also got into some here as well too. So I mean, I mean like next year expiration options, you know what I mean? Um, all in the money. So, you know, yes, the market took up through here and it came back down and then it came back up through there. But then ever since then, guys, we've had this big drop down through here. So my in the money options right now are really, really, really nice profitable. So again, guys, you can actually do quite well in these markets if you're patient and you find some really, really nice setups. So this market's dropped off. This market's down ten, down ten dollars from where I got into it. It was around the forty dollar mark because I was looking at this. Uh, I was looking at this area of support and resistance through here. So I thought this area right here looks like um, this. This area here looks like it's it's going to be an area of resistance. It broke back up. It came back down, and uh, you can see that area was what that it did become resistance. I was expecting this. Re this support level here be resistance. It didn't break back up. Came back down. Was it was resistance, and then obviously I got into more around that time, and the market's dropped over since then as well too. So around the forty dollar mark down to where it is right now, we've already seen a twenty five, almost a thirty percent drop to the downside. Again, my in the money options are doing really, really, really nicely right now. Um, 
And uh, yeah, guys, this is the way I trade. You know, I let my runners run. I don't, and my, my trades that are not working for me, I get out really, really quickly. Like for example, I had a losing trade, Monster. But um, let me let me go through here. Uh, Monster, I got out of Monster basically the basically the next day. So I got in this day here. So I'm quick to get out. And this is the way, guys, you need to be when you're trading as well too. So I got into Monster this day here when the, when the market broke out through here. This day here on the close, I didn't get out, but this day here, I got out. So I said, okay, I'm getting out here on this close here. And I said, if the market then suddenly retraces and goes back down again, then I'm going to re-enter. Do you see how I do that? So what, what, what I did is, okay, cool, I'm gonna have a tight stop. I'm gonna have a tight stop, but I'm looking to re, but the market does drop down, look at the re-enter. See, what most people do is that most people that say, you know what, I know it's broken above this high, because for me, for me it was broken above that high. Let me squeeze it up here. So this here was a, this was a small losing trade for me. Now, as you can see, it's a small losing trade compared to the winners I'm showing you, right? So I do have losses, but they're quite small when it comes to my directional plays anyway. So if you can see here, my overall plan was, all right, I'm getting into here. So I'm getting into that point through there, and I'm expecting more downside. I saw this bar here, and then I saw this bar happen here. I got out this day here, I got out on the exit, and I said, okay, I'm out, because why? Because it broke, my rules were, if it breaks above this high here, I'm going to be out. It's this, because that's, that's, just, that's just what I was looking at. So I got out with a small loss, I don't know, I think it was like a 10% loss or something like that, maybe 15% loss, something like that on the option. So it was actually quite a small loss compared to the, the wins that I'm on. So I got out of that, and that's 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 what that's what professional traders do, right? When you're successful in the market, you say, I'm going to get it out, and if it does then roll over again, then I'm going to re-enter. See, what most people just say, you know what, let's just see what actually happens. And then suddenly it runs up, and 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 it keeps running up, and now 15% loss is now a 30, 40% loss, and the markets continue to go against you. I say, I'm going to get out here, and if the market does then break back down, I'm going. To, I'm going to then re-enter then back down here, because now this one here is this one here is also uh, a lot more high prob high probability. So where is the market right now? You can see the market's now making a potential double top, right? So I'm looking at this chart through here, and I'm and I'm looking at this. I'm just like, all right, then cool. So now we can actually see that we had this trend line through here, trend line through here. So for me, guys, for me, if the market does hold and I'm looking to get back into Monster because I think we're likely to close this gap here. So I'm looking to take advantage of that gap. So looking at this here, what I'm looking at for myself is I'm looking at this, this point through here. Let's actually just bring an arrow. Uh, that point through there and that point through there. If we do hold those levels, we do hold those levels, and we start to break past that level through there, especially this level through here. Then I then I want to then I want to re-enter. Why? Because now we have one top, two top. It's now breaking support level. We're now likely to head down. Now I'm what I mean. What I mean by head down. I'm um, now over the next two, three, four months. We're likely to come down and close this gap. That's that's just all I'm worried about. So for me, guys, let me actually bring. For me, it's it's that, it's that sort of that level through there. This level through here, which is around 154, uh, 154 level for me would be would, would be a nice sort of entry for me. But again, as you can see, guys, I don't make money on every trade, but what I do is I have tight stops. Now, some trades, some trades I have. This was a daily trade, so I'm getting in on a shorter term trade, and sometimes a weekly trade, so I have a much bigger stop and a much bigger profit target, like you've seen on some of the other trades I talked about in this video. Some of the other trades I talked about in this video, I have I have a much bigger stop and I have a much bigger target. And obviously, if I'm getting in on a daily chart, I have a much, I'm very very quick to get out. And if the and if it does work for me, then I'm then I'm happy to stay in and get in and and do all that sort of stuff as well. Oh, excuse me, all that sort of stuff as well too. Makes sense. So, anyway, guys, that's it for me. Um, you know, I could go on and on and on about these markets because I just love trading them. I love I love I love being involved with them and stuff like that. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. So a few things I'm doing. I've got a lot of trades that's working out for me, and I've got some trades that aren't working out for me. And this is one trade that this is one trade that just didn't work out for me, and I had a loss. But you know what? That's just part of the game. I'm not going to BS you here. Trading is hard. Over my 10 years of trading, I've learned some amazing systems and strategies, and I've put it all in my brand new Grab the Markets by the Balls course. And I'm giving you 100% free access. This whole course is 12 videos long and almost 10 hours of the best systems and strategies that I know. Click on the image below now to get 100% free access right now.